This is our Jimu Roba. So Jimu actually means the building blocks in Chinese. So all that means you need to build a robot on your own. So how do we build a robot? So don't worry, we got a free app, Jimu app available. So basically from the start, you need to build a robot on your own, right? No tools required, only thing you need is your hand. It's like this. So we got the 3D animations to show you how to build it step by step. It's very easy to learn, even with the you know, children without any experience, they can learn by themselves. And then after you build a robot, you want it to move, right? At that time, you can enter the control center. So it's like connecting the Bluetooth. So any smartphone, smart tablet can be used to like control the robot. And then you connect the robot, then it's ready for it to move. So we got many like official movements already available. This is crazy dance. So nowadays kids are getting smarter and smarter. They're definitely gonna satisfy what you just present to them. So that's why we let the children to design their own movements. So you can see here, you just record the movement, like twist the legs, okay, and next move. <coughs> Maybe standing up. You just record the movement one by one, then you just play back all the movement you just program. Can be show like this. So it's very simple, even for, I, I would like to say, even four year old kid can play this. And then you can save the movements and it will appear at the list here. You can save it. <coughs> so, what if? You know, these are just motion programming, right? But apparently, Jimu is more smarter. It's smarter than just programming the movements. So, for example, if you enter the coding lab here, we got the coding lab here. So, the coding lab, we present the block decoding to the kids. So, it's just like a lot of different blocks. You can combine the different blocks one by one, just drag and drop. So, this is one example. It's playing hip hop dance. <laughs> As you can see from the coding here, actually you just code about the eye lamp, so which is the LED sensor here. You code the color, you code the expressions for the robot. It's like it get it get emotions right now. <coughs> and then I want to show you. I really want to show you this one. And it's not waiting, waiting for someone to wake it up. So what if I like put my hands here? Now he's waking up and dancing and have this color for lights. I really like this lamp. So these are, these are achieved by the coding with the sensors. So you can see the here, when the infrared sensor detects something is coming, it will uh, follow up these instructions one by one. And after your creations, you can actually share what you just created which, or what you just programmed to the other Jimu users. So that's the community we got in the app. So every day the kids are actually uploading their own creations. So in the training base here, we have like step-by-step -step tutorials for your kids to learn different blocks. It will teach you how to like move the blocks to make it connect and tap it. Just control your robot to move forward. And next time you need to involve to another, like combine two different moves together to make your robot like move forward and move backward. So you can see these are the different tutorials from the motion programming and also the voice because we got a Bluetooth speaker here. You will learn how to record your voice to the robot. So next time when it's coming and you say hello, it's using your own voice and uh, sensors, light. So that's, that's the storage to teach you how to code with different lights, to give it different expressions and colors, something like that. And then you need to co enter the coding lab to create your own code. And don't forget to share it on our community to let every kid learn from you.